last week and talk about 10 character of a confident person. Today, I would like to share seven ways on how to become confident. Jesus, the savior of the world, had this confidence when he was alive. When he was a very young child, he went to the temple, preached the gospel. When the Pharisee and the prophet heard him preach, they confessed Jesus had confidence and they said he was a wise person. Due to Jesus' confidence, he attracted millions of people and they all received many, many miracles. If you have not watched my last week video that talk about the character of confidence people, please go and watch it. But if you have watched it and you notice that you don't have some of this confidence, today I want to share how you can achieve confidence in order to attract the right people into your life and to achieve your success. So keep watching if you want to know the ways to develop your confidence. That come today. That come to Hello everyone, my name is Afalake Janet Oyelani. Before I go deep into sharing the ways by which you can achieve your confidence today, let me give the keyword that summarizes today's topic. Today's keyword says, learn to work harder on yourself than on your job. For things to change, you've got to change for better. You might be wondering, what exactly is this confidence? What does it mean? Confidence is a state of being clear-headed, either that a hypothesis or prediction is correct or that a chosen course of action is best or most effective. Confidence comes from a Latin word federe, which means to trust. Therefore, having self-confidence is having trust in oneself. So let me go straight to the point to share seven ways by which you can develop your confidence if you are a shy person, if you are a calm person, if you are an introvert or if you are a calm person. Number one, be authentic. If you are honest about who you are and you don't pretend to be someone else, this will make you to believe in yourself and people will see this honesty character in you. Getting authentic will make the right people to be attracted to you. It will draw the right people to you. This will also build your confidence and it will make others that are attracted to you to also copy your behavior. Be authentic. Number two, to develop your confidence, you must be creative. For example, if you are a baker, getting creative, getting different design of cake will also attract people to you, which will later build your confidence. I watched a YouTube channel long time ago about a, a cook, a baker. She baked cake. Her creativity made millions of people to subscribe to her channel. Every week, she prepared different type of cake with different design and people will comment they like this. This attracted the right people to her and which in turn built our confidence. Be creative if you want to develop your confidence. Number three, have empathy for others. Put other people in your own shoe. Feel the pain of other people. Have empathy for others when they are passing through some problem and give them the right advice. When people notice this empathy emotion in you, it will draw them to you, it will attract them to you and this will later build your confidence. Number four, be thoughtful and considerate. This means you need to be caring to others. People with confidence care about the well-being of others. 
you should have a very genuine interest to have a positive impact on others. By doing this, it will attract the right people to you. And once people are happy due to your impact, your positive impact on them, this will also build your confidence. Number five, learn to inspire others. Hear this truth today. You are not in this world for yourself alone. To develop your confidence, you need to be an inspirational person. You need to be an encourager to your siblings, to your friends, to your co-worker, to the people around you. When you have this nature in you, it will be easy to attract the right people to you because they see you as an inspirational person, an encourager. And by this, you will be happy that you are impacting people and this will in turn develop your confidence. Number six, be sincere and honest. If you want to develop your confidence, you need to say the truth always. People will want to associate with you because they believe that you are always saying the truth every time. When people believe in you, they will trust you at working place and your clients, if you're a business person, will trust you and want to have business with you. By this, your confidence will be developed due to this nature. And last but not the least, number seven, to develop your confidence, face your fears. Let me tell you this truth. Everybody in this world have fear. The moment Adam and Eve ate the forbidden fruit, you know what happened? They ran and hid behind leaves. And when God came down, what was the first thing that came out of your mouth? They said they are hiding because they were afraid. Therefore, fear came into everyone's life due to the disobedience of Adam and Eve. So everyone has one fear or the other. But if you want to develop your confidence, face your fear. You know how you can face your fear? Whenever you want to take a step, the first thing that comes to your mind is, oh, what of if you fail? You know what you can do? Do it anyway. And if you succeed, your confidence will be developed. Even if you fail, your confidence will still be developed because you tried. You took a bold step. So if you want to develop your confidence, face your fear. Do it anyway. I hope this seven point will encourage you to run after your dream. I hope it will encourage you to develop your confidence. Speak to you soon. God bless.